What is up you guys? Back at you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Wham Bam, my honest thoughts on it, along with a tutorial, how to use it and get it working with your prints. Hey guys, my name is Anton. I do content on all things 3D, as you can see. And if you enjoy 3D printing content, just get some tutorials or watch me make really cool models like this guy. Hit the sub button down below. Great content. I promise you won't regret it. And if you enjoy this video and it helps you out in any way, smash the thumbs up. It helps me out. So without further ado, let's get into it. I purchased this Wham Bam and I've done several prints on it. And I've been, at first I had some struggles with it. Not going to lie. I had several fails as you can see with the Wolverine uh, claws. It kept failing and failing. Um, I just couldn't get it to work. And after I released my last video about the Wham Bam uh, last couple weeks ago, you guys have just flooded my inbox talking about it, asking me, hey, is it worth it? Does it work? Which one should I get? And how can I get it to have good bed adhesion? So I'm gonna try to address that in a video, tell you guys what's worked for me, and hopefully this helps for you and your prints. So first of all, let's talk about, you know, should you get it or not? Um, what it is, is duh, it's a magnetic flex bed. It's very useful. It takes me a long time to get my prints off on the old bed. And in case you don't want to dish out money for one of these, because they are a little bit pricey, heat up your bed to about 50 to 60 degrees and start chiseling away. You'll get it done, but it does wear off after a while, that plate, and then you either need to replace it or just like I did, went to a wham bam solution. This was great. Now that I got it working, I can genuinely tell you, I'm not gonna recommend you guys on this channel ever products that I don't, wouldn't use myself. This has been great for me. It had some struggles initially trying to get it to figure it out, but ever since then, just this morning, I had a print finish on what usually would have been a, uh, something I wouldn't look forward to, and that's me waking up like 15 minutes early to get my print off, depending on what it is, literally 15 minutes of chiseling it away because I don't want to break it. I just flexed this guy popped off boom just like you see right there really really simple awesome uh but there's been it took it was a path to get there so how do we do there number one uh use this it comes with your ram bam this is a very fine brush tool that uh scratches off your surface you want to use it okay this is not just if you want to make sure it's very clean but scratch up that surface very thoroughly, okay? By the way, apparently, and I saw a lot of this in the comments, and some of you guys struggle with this one I saw in the comments or messaged me. There's sometimes a clear plastic film on top of this. Um, take it off. Uh, it's, it's very nicely put on there. It was, at least it was for my Wham Bam, so you might not notice it, not might think about it. Yeah, uh, it, check your corners and make sure you take that off, just in case. But yeah, then you scratch it up with this guy very, very thoroughly. But that's not gonna be your only solution, okay? You do want your plate to be very, very clean so you could use isopropyl alcohol and stuff like that, chemicals. But the settings uh, is what really tweaked it for me. So it's most difficult to print on this on PLA. And what you do is you always have a raft. I always do. It's a time saver. I know you use a little bit more filament and your print takes technically a little bit longer. It's worth it. It's worth all the troubles. It just makes your prints better. It helps your bed leveling not to be as perfect and a little bit more forgiving. I use wraps on like literally all of my prints now. It's great, I highly suggest it. Print with a wrap. Number two, make sure your bed is set and not just set to a temperature because I initially started with 50 degrees. For this one, you want 70 degrees Celsius. Yeah, you really want it up there. Really, really hot, but trust me, it makes all the difference if you do that that's going to get your adhesion really really well kind of a given in all this process but again and i hate to talk about this way too much bed leveling you really have to get that bed level perfect i if, if that bed is not level your prints are going to be knocked off with that nozzle and slide all the heck around and your prints are going to fail left and right you're going to have to level it very very nicely but when you're done with that you're all set so it's clean you scratch it off leveled you got your uh, bed to 70 degrees and you got your wraps now what this one was actually key for me but it was kind of subtle and I don't know if this is specific to just wham bam but just 3d printing in general go to the lower end of your PLA for it to melt so I can't tell you one number filament is slightly different about 5 to 10 degrees on different products and companies 
but whatever it says on the packaging, if it says 190 to 220, go with 190. Maybe bump it up to 195, but you want to make sure it's at the lowest end. I was going at 220 for just all of my PLA prints after I used some PLA Plus, which did require that hot, hotter temperature. I dialed it down to 205, and the difference in my prints was just night and day. Uh, it, they were beautiful. I mean, I could not get more perfect prints. My last print was just so well printed perfectly on the wham bam perfect adhesion took it off real quickly i was just so happy with my improvement in quality of life for 3d printing and the model itself that's what i found you know i thought it was some cura settings retraction or whatever i found out that's a really key factor so 70 degrees bed 200 lower end nozzle temp and that'll help your wham bam i've really enjoyed it i've used it for a couple weeks so i'll let you know how it holds up in a month or two I will have a couple other stuff and partnerships potentially with them coming up with new products. So ha hang around for those. But yeah, I do enjoy it. I can honestly recommend it to someone. I bought it, I paid for it, and I like it. I think it's worth $80 for me personally. Now, by the way, I will mention, I talk about this model a lot, so many of you guys in the audience usually are. The 10S Pro version two, it's a 320 by 310 bed, okay? Make sure you get the right size, not the 310 by 310, which is the base 10 model. Any other models, go look them up. They have it on their websites. Go look on the website of the printer model. Make sure you get the right size, because I mistake, did a mistake and I ordered the wrong size initially. So make sure you do that. But yeah, I can't say much more about it. I'll let you know guys in the future how it holds up and I'll see you guys in the next video.